Uh, I've been privileged to be uh, working with our guest speaker, Nakam, for the last few months uh, on the Fikra graphic design biennial. And I had to kidnap her for a day to share some of her awesomeness with you guys. Uh, Nakam is uh, based between Seoul and uh, Berlin, no, Stuttgart. And she has been responsible for a publication called Graphic Magazine uh, from 2009 till 2011. And uh, she, uh, she participated in a lot of uh, internationally recognized uh, exhibitions. Um, some are in the VNA, some are in the MOBA. And uh, she also curated the uh, Berno uh, graphic design biennial in Czech Republic uh, at some point, and uh, Seoul um, international typography biennial. Um, yeah, and I'll leave the rest to her. Welcome, Nakum. Um, I'm extremely happy to be here. Thank you for uh, inviting me and everyone, and thank you for coming. Um, and especially Hala, uh, thank you for kidnapping me from the FICRA, the <laughs> bank building. And yeah, actually, um, uh, it's my third time being in Sharjah. Uh, I was lucky enough to be invited as an artistic director for FICRA Graphic Design Biennial, which will open next week. And so I came here like three times. Mostly I didn't stay in Dubai, I mostly in Sharjah. And I was really excited to be walk around and see all the kind of like traditional and it's also like first time being in Middle East for me. I'm Asian, but also like Middle East also like I don't really have idea for that, but it was really nice to be here. And thank you for, uh, so it was really nice to be uh, here again, like see you guys and then share some my thought with you. So um, basically uh, when I got invitation, I was wondering about what kind of uh, um, talk I can give to share with you. But mainly nowadays I'm uh, working as a cur curator and also some like uh, doing graphic design in cultural field and then also like um, commercial field as well. But basically I think it's hard to define that uh, what kind of work that I'm more focused on. So I will just more, more or less like talking in general and then maybe you can ask some question as much as you want. So, um, I think um, this will be a good invitation uh, introduction.
up. Thank you. Uh, actually, this video is all like a collection of my previous work back from like 2006. And I think it's, it's good. It's just really like random, randomly like collection of the one picture for a project. I think it's good to show this because like because of that reason that maybe it explained well about like a multidisciplinary uh, practice from myself. So uh, and before that, if I explain more, introduce more about my background, uh, initially, I studied product design in Korea, and then I was interested in uh, graphic design, so I did master course in Korea, and then later I went to school in the Netherlands called Bergplatz Typography, and then I studied master another master course there, and then I stayed stayed in Amsterdam and worked there um, by myself, and then I go back to Seoul. So then I come back to. Um, um, Germany at the moment, so it's more or less like I'm based in here and there, and I think I really enjoy that, like exploring different culture and not really stay uh, stay in one place. So um, as uh, for this kind of experience, I realized that that um, and also the main reason that I want to study and know more about graphic design is that graphic design is not just something like practice is more or less uh, maybe some language or some attitude or something that you can do as a like a basic state and and more or less like i also agree on this idea that graphic design can be a tool so that means um uh, there are many kinds of um idea or theme that you want to work with but then you have a lot of like collaborators that you can work together but basically, you can have a person to have ability dealing with a visual language or basically like InDesign or Photoshop, all this kind of technique that you can do as a graphic design designer. That means something like graphic design as a tool. So like you are uh, more or less that um, using this kind of language as a tool. So I like this idea. And um, in many cases, uh, when I get the commission or like, invited as an artist in the exhibition, then I always think about this idea. So, in this lecture talk, I will just uh, show um, two different kinds of work, and maybe one is mainly for uh, as a like tool. I'm more or less uh, more or less interested in this kind of way uh, thinking of the uh, medium or system and uh, in the graphic design then how uh, then I can show some process how I developed this idea so this is the images of my studio previously in the Netherlands in Arnhem and Amsterdam um, you can see that it's very messy and then full of some um, archives or some like uh, random images on the wall. I always like to collect st collect stuff and then attach them on the wall because I like to see that what I have and I like to um, connect that kind of like uh, actual object or ma printed material with the memories or like a daily life. So always my studio is very messy like that. And then this is the image of my studio in Seoul at the moment, same state. And this is some of my like collection. It's the collection doesn't have the purpose. It's just like randomly daily life things. I often go to some like a supermarket or like a stationery shop whenever I visit some new cities, new countries, and I buy some the stickers or tapes that which has the kind of abstract shapes. I think this is very attractive shapes and color, but in the same time I like the idea that how uh, this kind of different culture or different company define this kind of absolute uh, absolute ideas of colors or shapes and all these kind of things. So then in terms of that absolute um, fundamental ideas that they also bring kind of different production system and that that brings all 
kind of slightly differences. And I like to see them, compare them, and then uh, use them as kind of material of my uh, intuition and thinking. And especially um, as a graphic designer, I keep talking about like graphic designer, and I I also I'm also very interested in the kind of daily uh, things, which is uh, must be a, like a paper size, and. And one day I was invited to uh, have to submit the work for um, design exhibition in modern and contemporary art in Korea. And I was immediately thinking to uh, produce a table. Um, uh, there was not something, some special reason to build a table, but I really want to bring this idea using the paper format into uh, change into uh, table. So, as I show you that there is always the different kind of uh, format of the paper, especially A series, and I submit them as a kind of top plate. And according to the uh, function of the <coughs> table, then you can define the height. So, for example, that A0 paper can be the good size for the work table, and the smallest one, A4, can be the good um, can be a good format for the tray. So I realized that this kind of very simple idea to look at the so look at some daily object and then thinking that how this can combine into different function and different tools, and then bring. Uh, the idea I make as a furniture. So maybe this is a little bit different uh, uh, approach, but still uh, obsessed on this kind of um, uh, system and unit about paper called uh, format variable in 2017. I was invited for the um, architecture biennale in Korea. And um, the, this biennale was focused on some like urban um, industry, especially uh, Uljiro, that is really the center of uh, Seoul, and that there is a lot of like um, industry system uh, back in from like 1970s, and it's very like what can I say, it's not really modern area, but it's it has a lot of like uh, uh, traditional, but still works really, really well. Some people believe that uh, you can really uh, build a satellite from the, the market uh, places because that they have almost everything. So, uh, and then I was interested in that, especially the printing industry, and uh, especially the format of the paper again. And in Korea, we are using the Gukjeonji, that is a little bit different format from the A series or even B series. I think that originally come from Japanese format. And the, this Japanese paper format come from English format also. And all, all have this kind of historical traces. And I like to uh, focus on this uh, special format of the paper and where it comes from and what kind of format that can be produced from this paper because that makes kind of like culturally differences in the format of the book in the end. So, so the basic the flat uh, paper can be uh, folded into the books and I choose some specific uh, format of the books that is normally produced in in Korea, and I divide into 16 different format, and use the 10 different uh, paper flat papers and divide uh, fold it and into the book format. So smallest format can have a big a thicker uh, measurement, and then the biggest one even it looks like poster, but this is a book, <laughs> has a 20. Uh, pages that has really like a large format and thin thickness. So this is like just very simple installation of the uh, uh, exploring the book format. But I, I can say that this really saying a lot about the Korean uh, book um, format system and how it can be developed into different uh, artistic approach. 
and what I like about uh, this project is this format is, is immediately can be used into practical purpose. So I choose this uh, different format into uh, for using that um, uh, each artist flyers. So basically, if you see the right side, you can really collect the different uh, flyers of each artist. So you can see according to the um, uh, different artist in the spot, that you can collect all different flyers and make a one uh, clear um, booklet in the end. So this is some like explanation of my uh, format and unit things, and I and and also this is one another example that I can questioning about something was already exist and I, I can really like uh, play with what I can answer about this. So the showroom in 2014 was actually in the in kind of in the uh, middle of uh, merchandise or artwork. So uh, if you look at uh, these images, then it looks like just normal kind of like um, a random package with some merchandise. And you can see all this kind of different um, paper plate and zip bag and, uh, and tapes, etc., which you can see uh, check in the stationery shop or art shop. The thing is, I was invited for make an installation, but in the same time, this may be meant to be an artwork can be sold in the space. And I did, I was thinking that uh, actually this art shop was exists inside the museum, so I was questioning that. In and in what is the purpose of this uh, maybe art shop? Because uh, normally in the museum, uh, the art is like meant to be a very uh, specific um, some conceptual treatment, and only maybe in the art shop you can buy something, and. And it, in this art shop, they have this kind of exhibition place where that I need to install something. So there is a, a lot of like a frame structure that art, commercial, and then art again inside. So I was thinking that why not try to uh, play with this kind of boundary. So you can accept these pieces as our artwork, or you can just accept it as a simple notebook or like dice or just random uh, merchandise that you can find easily. So basically, this 13 different object has its own identical name. And it has, um, it has produced in different company. And I just bring them all together into one black box. And this black box is kind of like um, uh, uh, con contradict from this white cube and black box. So in the end, I used this uh, different material into um, installation uh, format. Um, and then you can really see that as kind of art installation, but also you can uh, accept it as just a, like a showroom of the some uh, merchandise. So this is some like work that I've done. Maybe this is really just a simple example because I want to explain that the way of my thinking about format and system and something like already exist structure that I'm questioning. Then, but so that would be like a way of thinking as graphic design can be a tool. And then I was thinking that another way of thinking and how it can be extended so the tool can be extended into different way. So since 2015, I was uh, working, I'm working, still working on this project called SET. And that was initially the name of this book. And somehow the name of the exhibition and somehow the name of some my previous work as well. So this book is uh, published in 2015, which was 
the yellow uh, white cover in the left and uh, in 2017 the black cover book is revised first and published. So the idea of this project is very much like very like engineering <laughs> diagram but then I can explaining this uh, because it's quite a uh, rare chance to have developed this book. In 2014, I got art prize in Korea and I had some chance to do some uh, solo exhibition in Seoul and New York and I had a residency program in New York as well. So as a graphic designer, it was quite rare to get this prize and need to um, use this kind of chance to have the exhibition and then residency at that moment. And I decided to really like quit my studio for six months and just go to New York and do something like maybe pretend as an artist or do some like artwork at the moment. So the idea is that uh, I need to do some uh, exhibition and as a graphic designer, but in the same time I could uh, also have used this chance to introduce myself in another place. So uh, the most comfortable way of talking about my work will be a book, I think. So I decided to, I decided to uh, collect my work ar archive from 2006 to 2015 and, and use just kind, uh, make kind of like a monography, but I don't really want to call it monography. Uh, and and make the book. And from this material, I decide I wanted to make an exhibition, because for me the book is more comfortable and uh, reasonable um, medium to introduce my work. And then with the exhibition that I want to see what will be uh, after the exhibition. So this is somehow the process that I developed till now. So I can explain the first about this book. This is the guy that designed my book. It sounds a little bit weird, but I just, I hire a guy, graphic designer, to design my book because I don't want to design my book, you know? So, I mean, this was quite also like interesting challenge to try because um, as a graphic designer, you can really easy to think about directly about the structure book and how to deal with this material, but it's really hard to do something like uh, writing autobiography and you have to really fake about your history and story but it's really difficult to look at look back that kind of thing so I decide to decided to invite him uh, Yoris Kritis who was um, shared time time in the school in the Netherlands I really like his design and I was always thought that maybe if I need to hire someone that I want to hire this guy. And then he was really happy to be <coughs> together. So it was, it's the picture that when he came to Korea and by some kind of strange souvenir. So, uh, he was really, um, He's just my friend and also he's very uh, devote, devoted to my work and was really interesting uh, process. And he suggests first this proposal that why not using the graphic magazine format for this uh, monography? Because he thought maybe the graphic magazine I worked uh, for from 2009 till 2012 was quite like major and main project that can be known to other people. So he suggested this idea and I really didn't like so much. So I just say, no, Yoris, this is not really working because, you know, like uh, the work itself is mine, but still need to see this uh, whole material into the um, structure that I create before was quite harsh. So I reject the first proposal. And this is the second one that he brought. Actually, the idea that came up after the first proposal was that um, many of my work has very um, original color and then and also shapes. So we decide to uh, focus on the colors and shape, not 
about the the actual material as well, like contents material etc so all the materials that s could seen in the book will be uh, something erased erased contents so you cannot really see what kind of project it is it's more or less like you see all different kinds of um, uh, visual um, language so somehow I really like the approach but then we start discussing about the layout itself you know like designers and I think he really <laughs> had a hard time because working with a graphic design designer and then discussing all the time so in the end we came up like this way of doing so all the material from my previous archive will be very much uh, pragmatic and all this um, contents can be particled it can be uh, spread all over the world in all over the, the the book and we just only like make some category according to the shapes and somehow like a gradation graduated um, um, language so some part is only devoted for lines or some part is only for um, typographic language so in the end 2015 I published in for the art fair New York mm. and by Roma publication and then this book was really done well and many people was happy with that and, and I, I'm, I'm quite proud of this um, my first book then but the question was not really finished because originally I need to produce the exhibition but I put a lot of money for the book and all the effort for the book so from after that I need to think about the, what the exhibition should be and and I but I didn't really worry about so much because maybe with the contents of the book then I can really easily find out how to show these contents inside the space and maybe this is really the start point thinking about the how this three-dimensional space can be the platform of the of the content so this is the image of my uh, studio in New York um, I don't know why but I start painting on the wall I really like to do something crazy inside the space then maybe uh, be out of the, the paper format maybe it could be nice to use the wall as a kind of like paper canvas so this is something that I start without any purpose so I could see that maybe the wall height is quite different especially in Korea the, the side of the room is really small so the height is quite uh, short but there in New York or even in in Europe that it has really high ceiling so then I can really define the, the size of the paper basically the page can be different size so I just made simple rules to um, transfer the uh, each page into the word format especially for the first exhibition I just divided all this uh, side of the wall into the page number so you can see the small numbers on the bottom they just all page numbers so basically all the shapes on the each spread is is over layered each other and I could ex uh, exert some other uh, some specific shapes that could be uh, good together so in the end this is the image of the exhibition in New York uh, so after after this exhibition honestly I really enjoyed wall painting and this is first experience that I don't really need to think about how to put this leftover 
<laughs> into my room or my studio because normally as a graphic designer you always need to think about like all the material the really given physical material on your hand and uh, this is so great to see that something come out from the printer but after then like what will you do with the deep, this real material and things so then but this was really first experience that I really put like only for the installation I spent 10 days but then after the show nothing is stay there everything is gone because we just need to paint everything in white so that was quite impressive exhibition for uh, experience for me and and I really enjoyed that kind of ephemeral ideas or just suddenly everything is gone and I can see that the According to the space, all this kind of image could be different, and I decided to experiment more with this uh, sample book. So nowadays, I really call it as kind of simple sample books that I can use that for doing making different space or different um, uh, idea and work. So this is some example of this ex extended set. So after the first exhibition, I made um, another installation in Daegu, uh, another city in Korea. <coughs> so this is simply the graphic of the cover. And it's divide, it's uh, calculated as kind of format of the wall again. And some four different selected pages. So basically I decided to uh, make a specific and simple rule that all the pages, uh, size of the pages can be the, the ex extended to the wall size and I mostly I decide to paint, not really cutting vinyl, it's all painted. So sometimes I make another different rules because we, if I assume the book is a kind of list of sam sample of my work, then I can have different function to use that kind of sample. So this is some selections of uh, the graphic uh, that is only used for like book covers. And this is like exhibition. So there's some exhibition design that I did. And so sometimes I use this kind of uh, technique, kind of sample book idea, and create three-dimensional space like this. This is for the rock festival that they need kind of shelter that can be used at night and day. I have some uh, chilling area. And some shelters like that also. And this is also another kind of uh, selective idea that I just collect only, only shapes by the colors. And this is some uh, installation for a uh, station in Seoul. And I create an um, extra pattern with the shapes. So every time when uh, I need to come up with this different idea how to use this book is that it could be really challenging and interesting uh, idea to be away from my work and be try to be a third person who's just looking at my work again and then try to use that as kind of very uh, neutral material to produce something else. And some project with my friend to create the bed sheet. So this is something ongoing and I didn't update some other images but I'm till now I made a version 16 and I just keep try to keep doing. But also like in the meantime I'm also questioning that uh, I don't know more and more I'm thinking that I'm not really an artist because I uh, do something 
under kind of the idea that grip design can be a tool and I create the rules by myself and then uh, admit this and trans translate into my uh, language but like uh, I think there is different way of thinking as a uh, artist so the idea is like keep doing this kind of series of the work maybe for artists is very simple and easy to do I don't know maybe it's not easy but they are doing that just keep doing and make a one kind of signature uh, work until whole life but for me as a designer I can try to do something but in a way that always need region or function or how to how this can be used in uh, real life and etc so I really don't know how I mean till when I can do that but how it this will make me able to think about other things but I think it's also nice to see uh, that how I can uh, translate this into different uh, occasion so maybe this is something that I'm doing now and maybe something that I can do in the future as well and and I want to show the, the just simple movie in the end about this uh, set book so if you have any question I always like to hear and answer so Here's the movie. to hear from you now <laughs> any kinds of any any kinds of question yes maybe that I should just tell before well Fikra uh, I think you, everyone knows about Fikra, right? I mean, this um, uh, um, initially from last year, last winter, uh, Prem, Prem is another artistic director. He asked me to work together for the this biennial, and in uh, and uh, Fikra, you know, as you know, like is a design campus and also a studio and run by asylum and he was he was planning this uh, biennial and he invite invited um, uh, Prem and Prem invite me and Emily as well so three of us are artistic director and for the first time in last February we visit here uh, we didn't really like have strong idea that what it could be but then it's nice to uh, visit and see the atmosphere and we are really impressed with the, um, uh, the kind of what can I say like optimistic idea that like Emirates is really like trying to we, we can do it <laughs> somehow you know we could we were really surprised with this kind of attitude in design as well so everything looks quite um, well designed maybe too 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 well designed and uh, 
very much like optimistic ideas and uh, we hear and get to know many things like uh, the governmental structure that uh, put a lot of effort in the creative uh, scene, etc. So we just came up with this idea, let's make Ministry of Graphic Design. We need that maybe for like imaginary ministry. And then I think this was really nice to like uh, outline this Ministry of Graphic Design and, um, and come up with uh, five different department. So department, this department doesn't need to be a real department. This can be some sort of uh, underlaying idea about graphic design or even design in general or even like a little bit political ideas or any kinds of things, some marginary ideas. So we come up with these five different um, department and we invite department head. So there's different curators like department head and they are also, so Hala is one of the department head from Flying Saucers. <laughs> and so, so we are working quite in a big group and having uh, different input and influence each other. So that's what I'm doing in FICRA and why am I here? <laughs> yeah. So I hope like everyone see next week, 9th of November is opening. Yeah. Maybe you were first? No. Uh, no? <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, uh, basic form. Um, there are several reasons. Maybe one is that uh, I don't know. Just this really intriguing me a lot. Like I just, as I say, I collect a lot of things. But that is really like a daily habit. I look at some stuff on the street and I try to find something in a random uh, situation. So. Maybe this obviously could be like a very personal taste in a way, but I really like that 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 kind of basic shape, basic color, fundamentally more like abstract. That has a lot of um, different definition. That's what I like. So if you see that like the stickers, for example, that I collect, if you go to any kind of places, then you can find this like a basic color sticker, red, yellow, blue, and things, but everything is different. That that part I really like. So I like to uh, see them why it's different. And I, 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 just, I just like uh, um, to experiment more about like, what is the idea about like absolute and then, um, and people think this is like a basic or a fundamental things. So that's really creates me a lot to think in general, the way you think as well. So maybe. Yes, yes. Yeah, actually, Hala asked me about like the issue. Yeah, <laughs> the originally that the, all these materials come from the book and then became some sort of installation. Or, but then, how is it possible to bring this material into the book publication as well, or some other way? I mean, this is some point that I'm really thinking a lot these days because it's been like only s maybe three three years now that I'm working on. Mm. But this is that. So this is the part that I feel really like differences between artist and designer. In many cases, that I need a uh, question, I need some like limitation or some like uh, maybe problem. Then I be the person who can solve this problem. <laughs> so, but I think without any kind of that um, outer insert maybe some maybe some artists who can really dealing with this till the end keep going I, I think this is completely different ideas but 
that's why maybe nowadays I want to uh, make another question to myself. So what, can I keep doing this? Or what if, if I c create some other uh, limitation or different situation for myself as a uh, pretend that I'm becoming um, a client or some other person to give uh, this kind of thing. So, uh, of course, I need somehow thinking to the way of documenting this uh, or installation because I have nothing. If I don't take picture, it's not exist. So this is really uh, one way of thinking, how can I uh, capture this moment and keep this uh, situation into the documentation? So it would be nice to have the book, but I don't really think this is the right way to do, you know, like put the picture in, in, in the book. So I'm thinking, uh, actually thinking about uh, the method at the moment. Uh, but instead of um, making the publication, I was thinking that uh, maybe some way of making a souvenir from each installation. That maybe feels more natural for me. So then after the, uh, after the all these souvenirs collected, then I can do something maybe at that point uh, publication. But the souvenir means that uh, since there is no leftover as a work itself, so for example, I can create some um, painting out of that. So after, whenever the, the installation is done, there's a certain uh, dimension, the work, work size, define the pay, page uh, proportion, everything. So there is always some like a certain rule according to the situation. So I need to keep this uh, certain uh, condition as a kind of some format of the actual physical things. So that could be a painting or that, that could be uh, some um, leftover of something. So that's something I'm, I'm thinking as a souvenir but not actually the publication at the moment. If I find, I will let you know. <laughs> yes. yes. So you showed us your two workspaces in Seoul and your yeah. Yeah. Do you find yourself working differently because of when you're in a different cultural setting when you are in Seoul and when you're working with Mm, definitely, I think. Uh, but I I make a bigger gap between 2005 to 2006. That's why I make this uh, book from 2006 till like 2015, because I think uh, I I I start thinking about the graphic design more serious term from the Netherlands, I think. And then I, I was thinking about how to doc, uh, document my work, how to think more deeply about my work, and what, why, why am I doing all this? You know, this kind of question. So, I think that at that point I start um, um, thinking all these different aspect of design or graphic design or tour and things. So the way of documenting and all these things are all also from that period, I think. So then uh, everything uh, from that uh, in the Netherlands and then so, and then now again in, in the Germany as well. That every time uh, I realized that the studio, if I have proper studio, then, then, then all the materials are uh, easy to gather. So I have more, more stuff and more stuff, especially I collect a lot of things. So it's full of stuff in my studio. And I think it's also nice to change somehow to think about uh, how to deal with this archive from time to time. And the moving period of time let me have this kind of idea. So I think culturally it's not really matters nowadays. That's why in Seoul, I'm working a lot of pro international project, and also like when I was in the Netherlands, I work mainly about the graphic magazine which was based in Korea. 
So I think where I am is quite no problem, but more or less like how to uh, deal with people or how to deal with my arc uh, document or work archive is more uh, matters for me nowadays. Yes. Have you ever considered exploring more like principles such as F or F or where were the origin aspect of that you've already explored through your research for the community that you work with? Um because can you the repeat yeah. the did uh, do you ever consider exploring principles such as F or organic like more um naturalistic organic forms as in or like opposed to your Actually, um, it is. It, it. I mean, it's hard. It's easy to uh, think about like very basic color and um, abstract shapes when you see my work, of course. But I think I can say there is something beyond because uh, mainly the reason that I use this form and shape is also come from that kind of ready-made stuff. So I don't really need to define the shape or like the size of a circle because that already exists, you know? So even if I draw like a two centimeter diameter, diameter some like circle that I don't do that. I just uh, make a reference from something already exist and with the comparison of the condition I define it this is proper shape and color so somehow it's true that that I decided as a, like color and shape but I would say in deeper idea to do this is because I'm just editor I'm not creator you know I just select and then do something with already exist stuff. So of course, if some like organic shapes, if something already exists, then I really understand why I need that, I can do that. But I cannot really draw organic shapes or I cannot draw even circle, <laughs> you know? This is very uncomfortable to decide something with, with my intuition or my taste or my feeling. I always need something uh, structured and uh, rules that define my decision. So does it make sense? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Putting put my work on my on my wall. Yeah. I. You mean the like uh, in my studio? I uh, I think most of the thing is also my work. <laughs> That's it. Like, uh, I don't know if I understand the question properly. So some. So maybe half half. Because uh, some uh, uh, some pound object, of course, I like to see that because it's not just only the visual language; it's more or less that the connect the uh, memories. So when the main also uh, the uh, important reason that I collect stuff is that I can really compare the mo uh, memories. So you just randomly collect stuff and later on you just see all materials together and then you can see some uh, connections or some create some story out of that. I always think this is a super interesting uh, process like um, editing or like a writing biography as I mentioned before or like a taking self-portrait you know is you really connect the point of particles of your life and then do something out of that. Nobody can do this. So 
and obviously in this process all like collected material can be also compared with my own work and if you see these uh, images then like all this kind of big poster format is basically my work and some small things are also uh, some uh, found images and the found images uh, next to my work and then again then I can f uh, put another pound image which can be compared to each other so all these materials for me make sense to um, create a whole scene or like uh, make a story out of that so this is quite maybe important but also very enjoyable moment to do I mean, uh, I don't really want to think about that, but <laughs> this is some situation that happening uh, at the moment in different way. Uh, as I uh, when I, I as I answered that from previous question about like uh, why not organic shapes and things that uh, I think. Uh, what, how to how to decide and how to select the shapes in certain condition is really more important than the actual finer things. So obviously there is a lot of different uh, process, but uh, in many cases that maybe the shapes and colors are basic, so that looks really similar to each other. And moreover, over now I made uh, the this set book and many kinds of shapes and some structures are come from this sample book. So that brings even more the structured shapes or like a kind of branded uh, uh, identity. So in certain point, maybe uh, it's really easy. You no, know, it's really easy to do something because I have already materials and I can I know I'm quite like a specialist and I'm really good at how to deal with this sample book because it's my work in the same time I've been doing this for many times and I know the medium etc but maybe sometimes it's too easy and I'm not really happy with this uh, easy situation because maybe we are all graphic desi designer that need, want to challenge or want to solve the problem. So especially when uh, nowadays many clients ask me that like I, I want um, I, maybe I want some like uh, some logo type for my uh, music uh, company and uh, maybe there will be some artists like that 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 then I think about like why you want to um, publish this kind of artist and what kind of uh, idea behind this uh, company, etc. You know, like asks this kind of question to client, and I sometimes I start want to use the images. Sometimes I even try to draw something and then do some kind of different experiment. And always nowadays the the client just like to have you know that kind of strong and bold and structured images which I don't like because it's not valid at that point you know it's it's kind of it can be looked like my work my design but this is not something for the work itself so I'm I'm quite questioning this situation that like because it's too easy for me I I want to do something more like uh, valid valid for the project itself so yeah, it's difficult, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Can you explain a little bit more about the Korean format uh, you were talking about? Ah, okay. Um, uh, for the printers, uh, we are using Saryo paper is 4-6 in Korean. Saryu paper and 
written paper. And this is mainly two major formats that Korean uh, printing industry are using. And Saryuk um, is more or less like similar with the B format, B iOS B format, B series format, and Gukjeon is more or less A series format. I mean, this is uh, very much, very much like a printing industry. So normally people never use this format. It's different from like uh, you can see uh, A series A4 paper everywhere, and you can somehow talk with a printer. Okay, this is A0 size or like a, like extended uh, full format, but. That was not re that is not really existing in Korea. I mean, you can compare to A or B series, and that I heard um, is is come from Japanese format, because um, a lot of uh, a lot of like the uh, modern industry are influenced uh, uh, influenced by Japanese uh, culture because of the, this historical reason. So the many print printer as a machine that they have like a Japanese brand and also papers and also that a lot of uh, verbal language itself uh, come from Japanese language so sometimes if I hear the, some conversation between people in printing printers that I couldn't really understand because all these kind of words are from Japanese so um, so it's kind of um, I heard that this uh, Basically, uh, it's also just like uh, from the research that I get to know that this paper format is also like come from uh, somehow the hum uh, er ergonomics that, that uh, normally how you can make the paper is more or less like using this plate and, and from the water that you just bring this kind of when you make the Asian paper. So this is the kind of size that you can hold with your two hands, and then that create the size of the paper. So somehow, the in the end, the, the full page, uh, full paper format is kind of similar internationally, but I think the origin is quite different. So how you create the paper, uh, the historically how the way of the making paper uh, also define the size. I think. Yeah. And yeah, does it? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.